Hello, this is Yurka from Revo.com and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with our Revo PBR materials inside the SketchUp with Enscape rendering software. So first of all, I will go to the Revo library and I will pick some free assets. I will choose this mesh because it has opacity and also metallic reflections. And I recommend you for Enscape to use at most the 4K textures because if you choose 8K textures, the Enscape will be really slow. So I will select 4K texture. And I will download it and also I will choose this material because it has a little bit more displacement. So also in the 4K and download it. I will extract the materials here and I will go to the SketchUp. First of all, I have to create the material. So I will create a new one and rename it like this. And I will upload the color map of first material. So I have to go to 4K folder and find the color map here. And I will apply the material to the object. You can see the dimensions of the material are not well. Uh, the material looks a little bit tiny. So I have to edit the dimensions. I can find the dimensions of the texture in the Revo library here. So I will go back to the SketchUp and I will adjust this value. And now you can see the dimensions of the textures are okay. Now I have to go to the Enscape material editor and you can find here our new material. Color map is already uploaded. What I can upload now is either bed map, normal map or displacement map. Unfortunately, in the Enscape, you have to choose between them, um, but typically you can use normal map and displacement map together. So for this material, I will choose displacement map and I will find displacement map in our texture set. What I can also upload is a roughness map for uh, reflections. And now I will start rendering in Enscape. And if I zoom in, you can see the displacement is a little bit too much. So I will decrease the value of displacement like this. And if I check it again, now you can see the material is there and looks really good. So second material, what I want to show you is the material with metallic reflections and the opacity map. So I will just re-upload the texture, color map, second material. I will re-upload the texture of the roughness map of second material. And now if I change the height map type to BEM map or normal map, you can see the new feature appears here it's called transparency and here we have to upload our opacity map as a type we will use a cutout so here in the texture slot i will place opacity map and also i have to change the texture in normal map slot to normal map so i will find the normal map in our texture set i will start the rendering again and you can see opacity map works well, but one feature is missing and it's metallic reflections. So I will just increase this parameter and I can check the scene again. And after the Enscape will refresh, you can see the metallic reflections are there. So that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button and the like. Thank you for your watching.